Hi everyone, it's Liz with Real Girl Beauty and today I wanted to talk to you about one of my other hair product addictions. It's another problem. I heat style my hair a lot. Not as much as other people do, um, but for some reason ever since I was pregnant and my son was born my hair just will not stay healthy. It is constantly split. It is constantly damaged. And I am constantly fighting with it to make it look better and look healthier. So in the full spirit of that, I wanted to show you all the various split end treatments I have, use, and like for different reasons. Um, we're gonna start with the granddaddy of all split end treatments. The Nexus Pro Mend. I can't talk. <laughs> this sucker is honestly the first split end treatment that was a real treatment that I ever saw. It is really good at when your hair is kind of dry and done and you see the split ends, you kind of put it in your hands and add it then. Don't brush it though. It kind of works almost like a little bit of a glue so it makes the split ends like re-glue to each other so that they're not as obvious. If you brush it afterwards, it kind of undoes it, at least with my experience. Um, I don't reach for it as often as I do other products, but I keep it. I'm gonna go into a video about the full, uh, the shampoo line for Living Proof for the Restore Instant Repair, the shampoo and conditioner, because I did try them, um, and I wanna kinda include that in that video, but this is their, split end treatment and this is supposed to repair your ends I use this one a lot like if I'm going to iron my hair in the morning I'll put it on at night and let it sit overnight and then put the, the flat iron on it so something like that um, I'm actually not too impressed with the Living Proof Repair line, um, which is why, like I said, I'm going to do a video on the shampoo and conditioner. I, I just, it's not everything I thought it would be. I thought they would be like these, oh my gosh, they came to them through scientific research. It's going to be a miracle product. And then, oh, uh, slightly depressed, slightly depressed about it. Um, so yeah, uh, that one, I again, I keep it. I spent a good amount of money on it. I will use it. Um, but it's not like my first line of defense. Um, and same thing with the Redken Extreme Length Sealer. Um, a friend of mine gave this to me. She gave me a couple of the items I am pointing out to you. Um, because it does make your hair, when your hair is super dry and super like fried, it makes it feel super soft. The issue is, it's got this wonky brush applicator, which is totally unnecessary. It makes it harder to get the product out. So you sit here and squeeze it out until you can like then brush it onto your hand and then put it on. And it's just sort of irritating and seems like a waste. Like why do that? Like you're not gonna sit there and brush it into your hair because it's, the brush is too stiff. It wouldn't give you an even application anyway. It's just, a weird delivery system, which is why I don't grab that as much as I should. This one I got in, I believe it was Birchbox, the Davro Hair Wellness Ends Repair Leave-In Treatment. I used this um, on and off before blow drying. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It doesn't seem too different from other products. Um, so I'm holding on to it. Like I said, I still use it. This is one of the ones that's, again, vegan, cruelty-free, etc., etc., etc. So if you are, if that matters to you, if you're a vegan and you're looking for something to be a split and treatment, try this one. This one is the Bumble Bumble BB Repair Blow Dry Cream. And this is technically uh, an all-over, like, serum and blowout cream but it also seals split ends this is one that I will use before blow drying my hair when my friend comes and cuts my hair this is what she wants to use on my hair when she's drying it um, and blowing it out she's the one that gave it to me the issue I have with this one is it's a little bit runny so like the minute I open the cap I have to like rush to get it onto my hand because otherwise it goes like everywhere and it releases way too much of it and it just sort of runs 
So, um, but this one I would get before, I put this on before um, blow dry. Orbe. This is their split end seal. This is a good product. It smells absolutely fantastic. Oh, it smells so good. This costs an absolute fortune. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. I only have it because, again, my friend who is a hairstylist, she was, they were doing an employee discount day and she grabbed it for me and then I just paid her what she paid. So I got it at a steep discount, but this is a severely expensive product. When things are super expensive, I ration them. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, okay, let's put more of that on. Um, I'm going to sit there like, oh, let's not do that yet. This is another one that I use when my hair is already dry and the ends in the front are really bugging me. This is what I will put on it. I don't like to use it when my hair is damp or wet. I don't really use it before blow drying or before ironing. I just like to use it dry. That's just my own opinion. Um, it is an awesome product, but like I said, this is seriously the most expensive one in the entire bunch and it's not even the biggest bottle. Now my favorite treatment comes from Sally Beauty and I've seen people have mixed results on this. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm one of the people that loves it. It is the 180 Pro, their Miracle Repair Damage Repair. Damage Eliminator, I mean. I actually am a big fan of the 180 Pro. They have a shampoo and conditioner and then they have this product and they've got different levels like there's one that's for severe damage and then there's one that's not. Um, I first saw it, I want to say in an ad from Sally Beauty because I'm on their um, mailing list and I couldn't wait to try it and I actually really love this line. Every time I go away from this line I'm always like why aren't I using it? I like it. Um, it really does the job. Like between using any of the others and being sort of like, oh my gosh, why is my hair frying? Why does it look so much more damaged? The next time I shampoo, I'll throw this on and I'm like, wow, I love it. It looks healthy. So even though it's not the most expensive one, even though it's sold at a discount store, even though it's sort of a bizarre brand that's not really in your face, it's an awesome, awesome product. This is my absolute favorite. This is the one I will go to long before any of the others. I will put this on before blow drying. I will put this on when damp and I'm doing my overnight into ironing in the morning because that's kind of usually how I do it. I blow dry at night, iron in the morning. I'll put it on then. I don't really use this on it when it's dry. I think it's overkill then. That's why I like the other ones for when it's dry. Um, but I honestly think that's the best one in the bunch. So there you have it. Those are the various <laughs> split end treatments that continue to proliferate my bathroom. I wouldn't say any of these are so bad I wouldn't purchase them like I wouldn't recommend them. There are ones that I probably would never purchase again. Um, I would never purchase the Living Proof one again to be honest. It wasn't as miraculous as I expected it to be. The Red Can Extreme Length probably wouldn't purchase. It's just the delivery system is too wonky for me and I'd rather not work that hard to get the product out. And the Davro. Um, the Davro just wasn't anything special to me. So that's why I don't think I would repurchase. Um, the other ones, however, I probably would. And um, if you have a differing opinion, let me know. If you've used anything for split ends that you love that I did not just list, please tell me in the comments because I will run out like tomorrow and get it and try it. So I will talk to you soon. Please subscribe. I am Liz with Real Girl Beauty. I'll talk to you later. Bye.